Hello students, today we are going to discuss about the microbial diseases, means the diseases which are caused by microorganisms or microbes that we call. So what are microorganisms? Microorganisms are those organisms which cannot be seen with our naked eyes. To see these microorganisms, we need powerful microscopes like the electron microscope, etc. There are different types of microbes. We have algae, we have fungi, we have bacteria, we have virus, we have protozoa. All these five groups come under microorganisms, but not all of them cause diseases. Means all of them are not harmful. Only some of them are harmful, and they cause various diseases. Here we are going to discuss mainly about some diseases which are caused by bacteria and viruses. You have heard of some diseases like chikungunya, dengue, malaria, typhoid, tuberculosis, cholera. These are all caused by these microorganisms. Now, recently, there is an outbreak of dengue everywhere. Dengue and chikungunya. These are diseases which are spread through the bites of mosquito and both are viral diseases. So firstly, chikungunya. This word chikungunya is derived from a Makonda language which means that which bends up. This name is given because a person who is suffering from dengue complains of joint pains for quite a long time. The virus that causes chikungunya belongs to alpha virus group. It is also known as chikvi. It is spread due to the bites of mosquito. There are a group of mosquitoes which are called as Aedes mosquitoes. There are two varieties of this Aedes mosquitoes and the most common one is Aedes aegypti. These mosquitoes breed in all the water containers, water reservoirs. So to prevent the spread of this disease, it is very important to cover all the water containers, water reservoirs in the vicinity. The symptoms of chikungunya are sudden onset of high fever, skin rashes, vomiting, nausea, severe headache, then it may be accompanied by conjunctivitis that is infection of the eye and there may be mild bleeding of the gums or the nose. Also severe muscle pain, joint pain, stiff joints etc. Because of this reason the person complains of stiffness or joint pain for quite a long time. It may be from a few weeks to few months or even few years. There is no any vaccine for this disease. And whatever treatment is done is symptomatic treatment for the fever or the joint pain etc. But they say that there is effective treatment in homeopathy which is everlasting and gives great relief. There is another disease which is also spread through the bites of this mosquito that is Aedes aegypti. It is called as dengue. This is also a viral disease and there are four types of dengue virus. And all the four types of this dengue virus are existing in India. 
the symptoms of this disease are similar to those of chikungunya it spreads spreads through the bite of infected aedes aegypti mosquitoes infection the incubation period it may be for 4 to 6 days again symptoms are having high fever sudden high fever accompanied by headache nausea omitting skin rashes then there may be mild bleeding in the gums or the nose since this also doesn't have any vaccine it is preferable to avoid the infection of this disease by preventing the breeding of mosquitoes these mosquitoes that is the aedes aegypti mosquitoes especially they bite during the day time so those people who have the habit of sleeping during the day time they need to close their body with for example have a wearing shirts with full sleeves or trousers or full pants or you can also avoid by use of mosquito repellents or mosquito nets the proper use of even insecticides can prevent the breeding of uh, these mosquitoes all the water containers need to be covered properly here also there is no specific treatment and there is no vaccine also as i told you so Treat, symptomatic treatment is given for dengue usually painkillers accompanied with acetaminophen and avoiding the use of aspirin is done use of aspirin worsens the bleeding hence any medicines with aspirin need to be avoided another disease caused by the virus is bird flu or avian flu also known as avian influenza it is more commonly known as h5n1 there are different strains of this virus h5n1 or the bird flu it is infecting the birds most commonly the swan goose duck chicken etc and it's a very highly contagious disease so people who are working in that area need to have protective clothes or wear masks while working in this area if you recall few years back in bangalore thousands of these birds were killed and buried deep into the ground to avoid the spread of this disease in this bangalore area so sometimes this virus undergoes mutation and infects the humans many people get infected by this disease very easily that is why it is better to avoid half cooked or uncooked meat also taking precautions as much as possible to avoid the infection of this disease this also doesn't have any vaccine but the common drug that is used for the treatment of this disease is a tablet called as tamiflu which is marketed by a company called as roche this tamiflu is marketed by a company called as roche this has been effective to some extent the symptoms of this disease are coughing trouble in breathing fever and muscle pain joint pain etc
there is a, many times a sore throat. That means the common symptoms of flu, what we call. Only precaution that we take, or you can say preventing the spread of diseases, visiting such poultries where the birds are infected. Now, another disease is genital herpes. Genital herpes is again a viral disease caused by two types of viruses. We call them as HSV1 and HSV2. The first type of virus causes oral herpes and second type causes genital herpes means second disease is a std sec that is sexually transmitted disease usually affecting the genital parts so this usually spreads due to the physical contact the first one spreads by kissing whereas second one spreads through sexual contact so the best way is to avoid this disease is avoiding sexual contact. Sometimes it travels from the oral route to the genital organs or may spread. Syphilis is another sexually transmitted disease or what we call as STD, which is spread through sexual contact or from mother to the baby during pregnancy or during birth, which leads to congenital syphilis. The symptoms are ulcers on the nose, palate, or hands and the limbs. In severe cases, it may also affect the nervous system, or it may affect the heart, or even it may affect the blood vessels. And in some cases, it may even lead to death. The usual treatment given is Penicillin G potassium or even azithromycin. It can be better prevented by avoiding sexual contact or even the use of latex condoms can prevent this disease from spreading. There is another sexually transmitted disease also caused by a bacterium that is gonorrhea. It is caused by a bacterium called as Neisseria gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is another sexually transmitted disease which is caused by a bacterium called as Neisseria gonorrhea. This is again a sexually transmitted disease because it spreads through sexual contact. Now the symptoms of this disease are in the males there is burning sensation along with urination and discharge from the penis. Whereas in the females, there is a discharge from the vagina and pelvic pain, there is pelvic pain, means pain in the pelvic area, right. In severe cases, it may even affect the heart walls. The common treatment given to this is ceftriaxone along with azithromycin or Another drug that we use is doxycycline. It can be prevented by avoiding sexual contact with the affected persons or even the use of latex condoms can help to a large extent in avoiding this disease. Another disease is genital warts. Now this is caused by a virus called as human papilloma virus or abbreviated as HBV. There are more than 100 types of HPV, but the most common affected virus may be one or two types of type 6 or type 11. In the normal course, this disease gets cured by itself. The symptoms of this disease are there are soft growths on the genital areas or around the anus. Many times it gets cured by itself. That's why people wait for it to be 
cured naturally or in some cases it can also be treated by freezing a method which we call as cryotherapy and in some cases there is medication available but this medication may have some side effects. So, the best way to avoid the infection of this disease is avoiding sexual contact with the infected persons. Another viral disease which is fatal is hepatitis B. You have heard of the disease jaundice. In jaundice which is the main part affected liver is the main part affected right. It can be caused to different reasons like you know, contaminated food or some microbes etc. That is this is also a microbial disease. Now what happens in the um, hepatitis B is the cells of the liver get damaged very seriously living in, uh, in this and they lead to liver cirrhosis. And this is more infectious than another viral disease that is AIDS which is caused by HIV virus. This is caused by hepatitis B virus. Of course, there is a vaccine for this. The vaccine is called as HBIG that is hepatitis B immune globulin which is given to the infected person from 3 to 6 months of the infection. What are the symptoms of this disease? There is severe headache, mild um, fever is there, there is aloneness of the eyes or aloneness in the urine, there is nausea, there is omitting etc. And in some cases it may even lead to death. Earlier there was no vaccine available, but now there is a vaccine which is started right from the birth of the child and is given up to the age of 18 years. And it mainly spreads through blood plasma. It mainly spreads through some methods like direct sexual contact without any protection or what we call as unprotected sex. It can spread even through drug addiction. It can spread through the use of unsterilized medical equipments or used razors or blades or anything from an infected person or even blood transfusion of an infected person. So, it can be avoided by avoiding these things that is unprotected sex or drug addiction and it may even spread from an infected mother to the baby. So, avoiding these ways of spread can help in the prevention of this disease. Now, another serious disease which is a matter of great concern is AIDS. What is AIDS? Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. It is called as a syndrome because it is not one disease. There are so many diseases come together and 